Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our uh, Sunday night broadcast from Lighthouse Baptist Church. I want to share uh, some scripture with you tonight, and I trust it will be a real blessing to you. Uh, we've been talking in Romans chapter 5. We've been doing a um, study in Romans chapter 5, and I want to continue to study there this afternoon. But let me just say it's a joy to have you to tune in by the way of video uh, tonight. And we ask that you uh, share this video uh, with your family and with your friends. And we trust it will be a real blessing to you. And uh, we just thank God for our salvation. Thank God for His grace. And um, thank God that He's sufficient for all of our needs. Amen. And we just uh, praise Him. And uh, we, we know there's many uh, prayer requests tonight. So we want to lift each and every one of those up that's on your heart. And we just ask that you share this video, and um, for the next 10 or 15 minutes, just want to share um, by way of um, uh, video, by way of the scriptures from God's Word, I just want to share just a few things uh, with you tonight. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and uh, let's ask Him to, to bless His reading of His Word, and let's lift these prayer requests up. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank You for our salvation. We thank You for Your grace. We thank you that, uh, Lord, your grace is sufficient for everything we might face, Father. And then, Lord, we lift up the prayer request on the hearts of people that's uh, watching the video t tonight. Lord, you know the ones that are standing in need. We pray for our country. God, we pray for our leaders. And, Lord, um, we just pray, God, that your precious will be done. Lord, and as we open up the word tonight, God, would you give us wisdom and knowledge, Lord, to to speak those things that need to be spoke, and Lord, not to bring out those things that should not be spoken. Father, we just pray for uh, the Holy Spirit to lead and guide and direct us into all truths. Father, we love you. Uh, thank you uh, for each one that's tuning in tonight by video. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to just share uh, a portion of Scripture with you in Romans chapter 5. Um, very important uh, verses of scripture. Um, the we know that uh, we had began to uh, read in Romans uh, chapter five that the Bible says that uh, we are justified by faith, and uh, and the Bible says that we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through the death of the Lord Jesus Christ and. But then I'm gonna I want to pick up reading in uh, Romans chapter five and verse twelve. So if you got your Bible, I want you to I want you to turn there with me and follow along with the scriptures as we read uh, just for a few minutes, and we just want to share some truths about God's word. The Bible says in Romans five twelve, wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Now, let me just say this, friends, that sin is universal. There's an appointment uh, that you and I are going to have to keep, and that is death. Um, there's no way about that, no way around it. Amen. Uh, sin is universal. Um, it don't matter um, uh, what age you are. Um, it don't matter how young or how old. Um, death is coming. Amen. The Bible tells us that. In Hebrews 9 and verse 27, that is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. The Bible says, we say, preacher, why is, is that death sentence passed upon all of us? Well, the scripture says that wherefore, as by one man's sin entered into the world, and that was way back in Genesis chapter 3, where man sinned into the garden. And the Bible says that that sin was passed upon all generations. God told Adam and Eve, said, you eat of the tree of the midst of the garden, the tree of knowledge, the tree of life. He says, you shall surely die. God kept his word. And from that day forward, uh, man began to die. You know, you can go into graveyards, um, you can see all types. You can see young and you can see old. You can see middle age. It don't matter uh, what, um, what your social status is or uh, whether you're wealthy or whether you're poor, death is coming. 
And we see here uh, through the scripture in Romans chapter 5 and verse 12 that um, because of sin, um, all died um, in Romans 5 and verse 12. Uh, even uh, before the law was given from Adam to Moses, all died. Listen to that scripture here, verse 13. It says, for until the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Verse 14, the Bible says, Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgressions, who is the figure of him that was to come. Let me just say that death is coming. You and I are not promised to mourn. Um, we read that scripture in uh, Corinthians that you and I are not promised to mourn. Paul told uh, uh, the, the people there in Corinthians, today is the day of salvation. We're not promised to mourn. The devil's trick is that just wait till tomorrow. You've got plenty of time. But friends, we don't. Amen. We don't know our future. Only God knows that. But let me just say um, that from Adam to Moses all died. Even from Adam to the day, people have died, and um, and that is an appointment that you're going to keep, amen? Um, and the Bible tells us that in Hebrews 9 and verse 27. But let me just say this, um, there is hope, amen? There is hope. Um, because, uh, because of Adam and Eve's sin, the Bible says death has reigned upon all generations, and that sin has passed down through all generations. That sin has passed down through all generations. Jesus came uh, to be the ultimate sacrifice. The Bible says because of sin in Exodus 29 and 14, Jesus uh, spoke to the people there uh, under the law that they must sacrifice. <clears throat> Excuse me, that they must sacrifice and that sacrifice was unto the Lord, and it was for forgiveness of sins. But how many of you know that that was not perfect? It was not made perfect, but Jesus, when he came, the Bible says he came not to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill the law. But God had a plan for you and I. He, by him sending his son, Jesus, uh, made um, and born in the fashion of man, the Bible talks about that in Philippians chapter two, that um, that he was uh, he was made in the fashion of man, um, and uh, the Bible says that uh, we know that he lived among the people, did miracles, did healings, and uh, wonderful miracles, but his ultimate goal, uh, Jesus was that he knew that he would have to go and lay his life down for you and I because of sin. Amen. So now let's look in verse 15 of Romans uh, chapter 5. The Bible says, But not as the offense, so also the free gift. Now, the penalty of sin was death. Amen. But by the offense of one, which was Jesus, came the free gift. Now, let me just say, um, I've got a quarter here, and let me just say that uh, that I want to give you this quarter, and it can be yours. Well, it's not yours until you reach out and accept it and take it from me. Amen? Now, um, if I come and say, well, I want my quarter back, then that's not, that's not a gift then, is it? But let me just say, friends, through Jesus Christ and and the and His sacrifice on the cross came free a free gift of salvation, and this quarter is yours if you'll reach out and take it from me. But you have to reach out and accept uh, that free gift. And the Lord Jesus Christ gave His life on the cross uh, for you and I and for the sins of mankind. Uh, because man had sin, and, and the Bible says that we were marred by sin, and that sin has passed down through all generations, uh, from our children uh, to our grandparents, and then from generations even after us, 
uh, even after our uh, after our life, the other generations, that sin is still going to reign, and it'll still reign. But it says, by the offense of one, which is Jesus, came the free gift. For if uh, through the offense of one many be dead, much more by the grace of God, um, by the grace of God and the gift by grace which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abound unto many. Now, for generations, people have heard the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how that he loved you, John three sixteen, and how that he gave his life on the cross for a ransom for many. And people have heard that, and by faith, they have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and trusted him as their Lord and Savior. And they are saved and sealed unto the day of, of redemption. So not only is this free gift um, to my generation, but it'll be to the generation that's after me. Amen. Uh, until Jesus comes and takes the church home. But notice what it says in verse 16, and not as it was by that sin, so is the gift for the, for the judgment was by one uh, to condemnation. Um, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Now, let me just say this. Uh, sin, we don't have to be taught how to sin. Amen? Somebody give me an amen. We don't have to have a class on how to sin. Let me say, friends, it comes natural. It comes natural because uh, that sin in the garden was passed down through all generations. But let me say that uh, sin is universal. Um, death is universal. It don't matter a king or a priest or a queen. It don't matter your social status. We will keep that appointment that death um, will, will surely come. But the Bible says in Romans 5 and verse 17, it says, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in the life by one, Jesus Christ. Let me just say, through Adam's sin and through that sin, the Bible says death has passed upon all men. And that death was judgment. And that judgment is hell. Amen. It's being separated from God eternally. Amen. But the gift of God, which was the Lord Jesus Christ, how much more is his gift unto uh, eternal life in heaven? Amen. And uh, that's the story that we preach and we tell that, that Jesus lives. The Bible says that he's on the right hand of the Father. The Bible says that he ever liveth to make intercessions for us. But the Bible says in verse 18, Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Let me say, friends, it don't matter what sin you're in. It don't matter what you have committed, that the blood of Jesus, that the, the precious blood of Jesus can cleanse you and forgive you of your sins and wash you as white as snow. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? Praise God for that. So we see by the, um, by the offense of one, by the obedience, by the disobedience of one came death. So by the obedience of one, which was Jesus Christ, uh, came unto us eternal life. The Bible says, uh, verse 19, For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Let me say, friends, I'm going to tell you and testify the, the, the night that I am made righteous, not through uh, any works that I have done, because the Bible says my works is like filthy rags in the sight of God, but it's only through the Lord Jesus Christ that he has saved me and he has sealed me unto the day of redemption. But no, look here, it says, verse 20, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more abound. I want to read a scripture to you in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. The Bible says, But we see Jesus 
who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Let me say, friends, that Jesus took our place. It's you and I that should receive that punishment. Amen. But the Bible says that Jesus was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death uh, and was crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Let me say, friends, that that day when Jesus was on the cross, he took my place. He took your place. Amen. And he made salvation. He made that free gift uh, available for you uh, and for me. Amen. Remember this gift. You have to reach out and you have to accept this. Jesus is offering salvation tonight. He is offering salvation at this very moment. If you have not asked Jesus in your heart, I pray that you will reach out by faith and accept that free gift unto salvation. And it can be yours. Amen. Um, the Bible says that he, Jesus, tasted death for every man. The Bible says that, that sin bringeth forth death, but salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ brings eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. Ain't that wonderful? Thank God for God's grace. Thank God for his justification for forgiveness of sins. And thank God for the grace of God. And it was uh, merited towards us that if we would ask for forgiveness, that he would forgive us and cleanse us of our sins. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this opportunity we had to share this word. Father, we know that, Father, through Adam's sin, that death reigned and was passed upon all men. But through the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, reigned eternal life. Thank you um, for that precious gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for that eternal gift that you have given us. The Bible says in Romans 10 and verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you for that precious promise of salvation. Lord, and we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate you tuning in to our uh, broadcast this afternoon. And I trust that if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I pray that you will ask him to come in and uh, to take up abode in your heart. He will. He'll forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Praise God. I appreciate you listening.